We had no support, we had no say. This time we do. Our hospital didn't have the union. We've been trying to get this for the longest years and finally we succeeded. They had just outsourced a department and that is when they were really in tune to the difference between union and non-union. When I see somebody, I talk to them and say, how's things in your department? How are things working out? And, you know, and then I hear what's going on. Say, well, you know what? We got into the union and it would be really nice if you even considered it and talked to your coworkers and, and if they want to get involved, I can show you how. I was able to go to different units where there weren't people that were in the union and explain to them what a union was, how it worked, and how effective it is to have one. I talked to my colleagues and everybody I could about joining the union. I think it's helpful coming to the meetings and hearing what the process is so that you're not afraid to take that leap. Having coworkers talk to me about NUHW, it gave me peace of mind that they're well informed and I will be well informed. They really, really strive hard to keep us in the loop. Without a union, they could let be let go of any moment or any minute that they want to make changes. People together and a voice together, we can make our needs and our, our wishes be known. I think we're, we're probably sitting around 900 now, something like that. Out of the 900, I believe that about 450 are new. That same night that we found out we won the vote, people were texting me and calling me, asking me, hey, did you stick around? Did you find out what was going on? So people are happy. There's not one person here that could do this by themselves. It takes all of them. And we're all important. All the way from your janitor, all the way up to the CEO. We're all the same. The opportunity for the hospital to outsource us was very apparent. So it's time to unite ourselves to have a voice so we could be equal with management and stop that outsourcing process. And we discuss a lot of our department's issues and concerns, which 90% of them is staffing. Ultimately, our biggest concern was how short we are. I had talked to Patsy a little bit, who has been in the union here for a while. So when I would talk to them and they would have fear, um, all the other units, I would just basically explain to them what had gone on in the past with our department and how things have changed, for the better, with protections. We were concerned about things like retaliation from management. Management was threatening some departments that they were going to fire them. People were anxious and um, we reassured them by telling them that things will only get better. We explained how much NUHW has done for us, which made everybody jump on board and want to join the union. And I think that's what made it so strong. When I talked to the other stewards, they said, you know, look, it, it sort of levels you out. Uh, to management, so you start to work with them as a equal level versus somebody superior to you that they can just walk over you. They couldn't be able to retaliate because there was forces pushing back against them. Because we were trying to decide, well, is it better to outsource and start over, or is it better to try to fight this against management and keep what we got? So I figured if I can make a difference to try to help these people, why not? They said, you know, that we can fight against them and uh, we will win. The one day informational picket was nerve wracking. It's the first time I've ever had anything like that happen for me. Uh, it was kind of exciting. It really showed to management that we were strong in our decisions. It, everybody was really excited and positive thinking. It was really good. We had even the nurses come out and support us, so that was good. And I think management was like really amazed at the big turnout that we had. A lot of people who we thought that were not gonna show up, showed up. And when they seen all of us there, it empowered them, it made them think, yes, we can do this together. You know, I think it just showed management that, look, the, the public and us are all on the same page. Maybe they needed to try to meet us somewhere closer than they were getting, which in turn all happens. After the picket, we noticed that management had a different outlook. You could see that they were willing to 
negotiate a little bit more, open the doors a little bit more. And when we went back, I think a week later, we actually got a tentative agreement on what we were asking for, so that was great. The outsourcing has not happened yet. You know, we just wanted to make sure that they could not do that. The anti-union campaigning that administration was trying to run, uh, you know, they were making up some pretty bad stories. Before, we spoke up, but it felt like nobody was listening to us. Yeah, I love being an organizer for Fund and Bali and telling them about the great things that were going on in Kindred. Some of the workers from Westminster Kindred came and they were there to, you know, answer questions and give their experience, which was great. Kindred employees were saying that NUHW was instrumental in helping them come together and make demands. I told them about our benefits. It's way better than before. We're going to get a certain increase every year instead of no increase. I want them to believe in the union. Once we realized how many of us, you know, over 600, we were just like, wow, who knew? <laughs> We had an overwhelming 77% win. It was so great because that was that first step of going, all right, now we're all as one. It was awesome to feel that you can actually work to make a change. NUHW will come through. We take care of business the way it should be taken care of. Having everybody support each other, it just makes it feel more like a family. I don't see our department growing and changing if we did not go union. It's definitely empowered us because um, we have a voice. Hazel Hawkins Hospital is going to be a really strong member union. To NUHW, thank you so much for representing us. I'm very happy to be part of the union. We don't have it any other way. To me, uh, our union means uh, being stronger and uh, being supported for our coworkers. And um, I mean, uh, it's a great union.